Thursday morning, and what we're doing is getting ready for the IWJG show in Las Vegas. Uh, it should be a good turnout. What we're gonna do is just, we've got everything packed up like this. You know, everything is ready to go on display, and we're just gonna hopefully sell as much as we can. Oh man, that's so cute. She cost me one Ethereum. You paid for the gun in <laughs> Bitcoin, yeah? Uh, basically. I can't wait until like five years from now to look back at this video and that one Ethereum is worth $50,000. Yeah, so this dog is worth fifty grand in three years. Tell me what you got in here today. A little uh, 40 millimeter factory back at Don. Wow. Yeah. President, man. Congrats, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. What you got on your wrist, Alfred? Uh, rose gold Daytona on oyster flakes. Thinking about buying it. Yeah, I like when people online say that they think shady shit's going on in TPG because the employees be buying all these expensive watches. I make a lot of money in crypto. This motherfucker makes a lot of money with jewelry. We had a comment <laughs> that apparently, I guess, salespeople can't have nice watches. But my thing is, if you want something nice, you work hard, you can get it. I mean, you can get it. Anybody can get what they like. Also, I let them know there's, there's other streams of income. So I got hobbies. I like jewelry. I'm in the car scene. I race cars. So, can't you know, I kind of can't be my own boss. You know, I got to respect these guys and their business. But you can always have multiple sources and passive income that allows you to buy expensive watches. He's, he's also a motivational speaker on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> Trent, what you got in your wrist, man? I actually left my watch at home today. Uh, yeah, I know. I feel bro, naked. you left your watch. That's like that. against code. Marco, what are you sporting today? Ah, uh, 57.12, rose gold. Thought I'd try something new today. I'm going to show you guys something really interesting today. I'm going to teach you guys how to break down some older Rolex papers and how to do that. Um, here, let me check this out. So what I have here is a vintage GMT from 1991. It's an L serial. Uh, there's a lot online on how to read the serial numbers. That's pretty easy. Um, typically the, when they first started using letters, they went with R, L, E, X, and so forth. Uh, but this is where a lot of this stuff up here gets confusing for a lot of people and they wonder, well, what are these extra numbers back here? So that's what I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> so the R obviously the brand because they make Tudor. So they stamp uh, Tudor with a T in front of their reference numbers and Rolex with an R. 16710, well you guys know that's a GMT. Now what, is, what does this A mean? That A is the material of the case, so that is stainless steel. Um, there is, uh, there are things online you can show that show you all the different meanings and I can get into that later. And 30 is gonna be right here, that's your dial indicator, that shows you what color your dial is. 30 always means black. B means bracelet. So you'll see, so it's a 16710 stainless steel black dial with the bracelet 6251, which is actually a Jubilee bracelet, but somebody at some point switched this watch to a oyster bracelet. Then if you go to the back here, you'll see this stamp right here. This is actually the day this watch left Rolex. They stamped it and it said it is out of here on this date. So if you break it down, you can write out Rolex watch number it one through ten and you can figure out so we got w uh, six zero i'm sorry oh excuse me two a seven nine so c and then h for ten so if you break it down six twenty seven ninety one so that's the day this watch left the watch yo yo What's up? Are you looking for anything specific? Like, what do you mean? I don't know. Watch wise. <clears throat> I don't know. Are you? I'm going to a show. I can get whatever you want. No, no. I'm just curious. Uh, you got any 36 um, Tiffany's? So. Uh, 36 Tiffany? Do you have one? Yes. How yes. much? I'd like to get 14 out 14? Uh, honestly, it's pretty good condition. Pr pretty mint condition? You have a 31 Tiffany? Just hey, do you have any 31 through 34 millimeter two tone? Oh. Yeah, with 31 coming. Uh, Tiffany. In the Tiffany? Okay. You have a silver stick dial 
41 millimeter Jubilee gauges. I think we only have blue dial. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna send you a label for that GMT from this morning. Uh, this one. Probably the next one like 10 minutes. This morning, um, I bought a GMT with a green hand. Uh, I thought we had somewhere around here. Uh, for a client that I bought from him this morning. <clears throat> and my client has one. But it's not running perfect enough for him. So it's running like five to seven seconds fast. And he wants one that's running in precision, which is minus two plus two. COSC. Yeah, yeah. The COSC. <clears throat> um, so I had to find one that was running a little bit better. Still 2019. Um, so Alex helped me out and, and got me one for that. <clears throat> but he was just calling me to see if I needed anything else. Nope, that's not how you do it. Do, that's not how you do it. Listen, do it. Listen, I'm a rookie. Let's see how you do the belt. Yeah. Just, no, it's like you're good. doing it too fast. It's like it's more like 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 that. So, so like yeah. kind of. It's a little too slow. Yeah, yeah. You gotta go like this. Yeah, there you go. There you go. One more time. There you go. That's perfect. There we go. <laughs> cool. So it's awesome. Like, like, and um, then if you really want to piss Matt off, you can do something like you gotta be like. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the yeah. bell.